Hi, my name is Cordelia Obe. Uh, giving out a child very early in marriage, I don't think is a very good thing because one, the girl child, for instance, is not complete. She's not completely formed. Her body is not ready for sex, not even for childbearing. So let the girl child go to school and even let the boys finish school and they can get married when they're old enough to decide. And then life will be better for all of us, I'm very sure. Stay safe. All right, uh, my name is Ogbolo, and uh, I just want to tell you to please support what UNICEF is doing. Uh, UNICEF, uh, support what they are doing uh, to stop child marriage here in Nigeria. I beg, let us, let us all join our hands together to make this a reality in the country. I beg, eh? thank you very much. My name is Samantha Walsh, and I am completely against child marriages, so whoever is indulging in them should stop. All right, my name is Tayo. Uh, you can also call me pure child. Let's stop marrying our babies away. They're still children. Let's send them to school. You know. uh, let's stop early child marriage. Let's stop it. My name is Bimi Olatero, like Biggie, a radio and TV personality. Please stop child marriage. Let's save the girl child and keep watching Face of Entertainment. Good evening, this is Nina. Um, we're running a campaign for um, um, stop a girl, uh, stop a girl child marriage. So, um, can you guys all let our girls go to school, get an education, and be old enough to get married? Thank you. And of course, everyone keep watching Face Entertainment. It's the best. Okay, my name is Osam of Nigeria FM 2.7. We need, we really need to stop this early girl-child marriage. This campaign is something that has to sensitize everybody about the evil of this act. Please, whoever is behind it, whoever sponsors, whoever actually uh, uh, puts this thing to the fore, stop it. Because this is not what we're here for. This is life and life has a cycle that we have to follow. That's all. Hi, this is Ash Marie. I'm a designer. Um, I want to talk about the child abuse campaign. Um, please, I'm totally against it. I'm sure if you had married me when I was younger, I would not grow up to be a designer. Let the children live their dream. Let them grow up to be who they are supposed to. And keep watching Face Entertainment. Peace. Yes, this is Madhu here from Ash Marie. Um, you know, it's kind of absurd that people would have to actually marry someone. I have a sister, I have two kids sisters, and if someone had married them at a younger age, that would have just been ruining a person's life. It's, it's absurd, it's ridiculous that someone would have to marry someone that is as young, that does not even have the sense to even know what marriage or love is. So Nigerians, Africans, West Africans, everybody in the globe, if you're into this, I beg you and plead you Please stop. Please stop. And that's all from me. And you're watching Face Entertainment. Hi guys, my name is Vaughn Vixen. If you notice girl child, the word, there is child in that word. And I do not think that children should be married off at such tender ages. I want to advocate for the termination of the girl child marriage. It is not right. They're still children. They don't need to have a ring on their finger. They don't need to be abused. And at that age, it's too young. So please, let's stop the girl child from getting married too early. Please. Thank you. My name is Marian. Uh, we're here to talk about the girl child marriage. I think it's not good. We need to stop it. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Immaculate Patience Adache, aka Sugar Lala Mama. Okay, please, I want you to please stop the girl child marriage. It's not good. Thank you. Yeah, what's up, what's up? This is your homeboy Lamborghini. Uh, right now I'm standing right here. Um, I'm in support of stop the girl child marriage. She's a girl. Not ripe for marriage. Mm -mm. And now working for me. Let her grow up. Let her be able to make decisions for herself. Then she can get married. Thank you. Buddy, my name is Neka. Um, girl child issue. A lot of young girls today are, you know, they have no future to look forward to, all because their parents are selling them off in the name of marriage. Stop the girl child marriage today. Hello, my name is Wurola Habe, and this is a campaign against girl child marriage. We need to stop it. It's bad. It's, it's, it's destructing. It's destroying our children. And keep watching Face of Entertainment. <laughs> Hello, my name is Wurola Abe. 
This is a campaign against girl child marriage. Stop girl child marriage is, is destroying our society. And keep watching Face of Entertainment TV. My name is Remy Dada and I'm here to say to stop the girl child marriage. It's not ethical and it's not what we stand for as human beings. Thank you. What's up, Lagos, Nigeria, Africa and the world. My name is Manny. I work with Cool FM 96.9. And I have a message for you here. I want you to understand that every, every human being, every individual born in this world is born free. Freedom of choice, and choice means you decide what you want in your life. I say stop, stop, and stop this girl child exploitation in this country i stand with the organization i stand with unicef to say stop this girl child exploitation let them leave their dreams and be born free that's what i say thank you i'm Cisan. i'm from the north and i'm appealing to those who are still engaging in the girl child marriage to please put a stop to it as it doesn't help and Making them go through school and uh, graduating from school, I think, is the best gift you can actually give to every girl child. Education and just not a little child getting married. Please, let's put a stop to that. Lulu Olunlo, you're a news director for HNN Africa. I am on faceentertainment.com at LLAM. But most importantly, I want you to support the Stop the Girl Child Marriage campaign. Please support that because we have to look out for our girls. Once again, faceentertainment.com, support them because I'm supporting them and the campaign. Thanks. Um, what has happened in Shibok is actually unlike what we have heard in the world ever since and it's, it's actually not a good feeling because these girls actually want an education and that has been taken away from them. We do not know their, their condition at this time and what's happening to them. We think they should be brought back home, alive and sound and in good health. Despite the trauma, because they've been away for like close to a month, that had, would have caused a lot of trauma for them. We do not know their mental state presently. They need their family and they need us to help them get back home. Bring back our girls, safe and sound. Our girls are part of the family which makes up this nation and they are needed for the nation to be complete. Taking these girls away is causing a lot of dramatic situations across the nation. We need our girls back, our families need them back so that our joys be complete. So please bring back our girls alive. Thank you. Bring back our daughters. Please bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Please bring back our girls alive. Please, I beg you now. Please, please, please bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Bring them alive safe. Please bring back our girls alive. Okay. Back our girls alive and now. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. I pray that God Almighty will intervene and God will bring back all those girls alive in Jesus' name. Bring back our girls alive. Hi, my name is Nikitia Chanago. Bring back our girls. It's really hurtful and sad that our girls are not here. Please bring back our girls. Thank you. Alive. Bring back our girls alive. Thank you. Yeah, um, we just want to appeal to the government and um, to all good people um, who are in charge to please help us bring back our girls alive. Please, we appeal. May God help us in Nigeria. My name is Wale Akewande. I'm calling to bring back our girls alive. 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 We need them alive. Please bring them back. Please 
bring back our girls alive. Please bring back our girls alive. 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 Yeah, thank you. Bring back our girls alive. As you can see, I have two girls. Bring back our girls alive. Thank you. Sir. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is MC E Sharp. Honorable Emmanuel, aka MC E Sharp. And I'm here saying, bring back our girls alive. Thank you. Back our girls alive. Just bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls, please. Alive. Alive. Please bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Our girls alive. Uh, bring back our girls alive. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Davison. Please, I take God beg you. I, I take you beg God. Bring back our girls alive. Ali, that they beg you. I beg. Thank you so much. Back our girls alive. Back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Hi, my name is Adriel. Please bring back our girls alive. Okay, please and please, we beg you to bring back our girls alive. We don't want them mutilated. We don't want them assaulted. We want them back whole and hearty. Thank you. Um, as a mother, as a woman, as a girl, it's, it's, it's our right to be educated. We look up to so many people out there today who are ladies. Michelle Obama is a wonderful woman. I cannot imagine if she had been deprived of education and if she would be able to support her husband. And all we're asking for is that you bring back these girls and let them have a life, let them have a future. It's just, it's, it's, it, it's beyond words, it's beyond me as a person to understand that these girls are being treated anyhow or kidnapped or anything. All we're asking for and we're appealing to the government to do something extra beyond the regular days of we assure you they're, bring, they're bringing them back. We need something extra. We need extra effort for on all sides and we're appealing to these people given this, these people fighting education are actually fighting with civilized weapons. It's unbelievable, but please bring back our girls. Alive, but please bring back our girls alive. I'd like you to bring our girls back alive. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Well, my name is uh, King Joe Kechuku and I believe that the girls that were kidnapped deserve to be brought back alive and for whatever reason they were kidnapped if it was for if it was politics or whether it was for whatever for real or unreal the most important thing is that we want those girls back so please 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 we beg on you bring back the girls back alive Thank you. Yeah. Our girls are alive. Heritage of, 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 of God. It's very disheartening that we have missed these children for so long now. And all we can do is to insert seed on their behalf and pray that God will bring them back safely to their parents. Bring back our girls alive. Hi, my name is Edda Ferremon and this is a production for Bring Back Our Girls Alive campaign. We are appealing to whosoever that's responsible for this whole entire menace or this whole entire saga, please bring back our girls alive and on touch, on harm, on sport. Thank you very much. Bring back our girls alive. Our girls and alive. To bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Yes. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. I can only imagine. In fact, I'm finding it difficult to imagine what those mothers are going through. As a mother and a grandmother myself, it's 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 so sad. I'm just imploring. Please bring back our girls alive. Back our girls alive. Girls alive. ASAP.
Bring back our girls alive. Okay. Bring back our girls alive. Please, we are begging you all, bring back our girls alive. We want them alive. Thank you. Please bring back our girls alive. Thank you. Back our girls alive. Thank you. Girls. Bring back our girls. Bring back our girls. Bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Okay, I'm joining millions of Nigeria all over the world. Backing on the government to bring back our girls. The first girl that was um, kidnapped by the Boko Haram. Hoping that they will be back soon. So please go. Please. So. Bring back our girls. Bring back, bring back our girls. girls. Be back girls. Be back our girls. Alive. Alive. We're joining the whole world to say bring back our girls. Alive. And now. Our girl child must go to school. They must not be afraid of going to school, of having education. Bring back our girls. Now and alive. Okay. Yeah, we're trusting God that by His grace these girls will be found alive and right now. There's no controversy about it. We've prayed and we're believing God that the Spirit of God will fall upon these people to touch their hearts to release these girls in the name of Jesus Christ. And we speak peace to Nigeria and we speak peace to the girls wherever they are. It's alive. That's what we are saying. And that's what we are going to keep saying until they show off. Bring back our guests alive. Hallelujah. Hi, my name is Godman Akinlabi. Um, I'm lending my voice to the Bring Back Our Girls Alive campaign. I want to ask that we all join forces with our government in prayer, in solidarity support, and in rendering information available to us to the end that at the end of the day, we have the girls from Chibok back alive. So bring back our girls alive. God bless you. <laughs> bring back our girls alive. Bring back our girls alive. Go. Bring back our girls alive. Alive. Yeah. I'm lending my voice to the Bring Back Our Girls campaign, and I'm believing that the power that works in um, multiples and collective um, prayers would actually speak for us again this time. And that's why today I'm saying with the rest of Nigeria, bring back our girls alive and well. Bring back our girls now and alive.